In today's video, we're going to be talking about the differences between peri-implant mucositis and peri-implantitis. They're both types of peri-implant diseases. After placement of an implant, the implant interface fuses with the bone in a process called osseointegration. Just like on a natural tooth, bacteria may develop on the implant below the gum line. After a period of time, the bacteria begin to irritate the gum causing inflammation, and if this isn't recognized early and treated early, it can cause the bone around the implant to break down, resulting in loosening of the implant. So like we said at the beginning, peri-implant diseases can be divided into two categories. We have peri-implant mucositis and peri-implantitis. So peri-implant mucositis, this is where we have inflammation of the gum around the implant and there's no sign of bone loss. Usually peri-implant mucositis is a precursor to peri-implantitis and some studies suggest that if it's treated early, it can be reversible. With peri-implantitis, here we have gingival inflammation around the implant which has progressed and we have bone loss around the dental implant. Treatment of peri-implantitis depends on how extensive it is but it usually involves debridement or cleaning around the implant and in some cases antibiotics are given and the implant surface is also cleaned. Then there are various techniques to help regenerate the bone including bone grafting. Treatment of peri-implantitis is usually surgical in nature. If you have implants, some things you need to look out for are redness and swollen gums around your implants. You may also experience bleeding when brushing the area and you may also experience some mobility around the implants. The best way to avoid peri-implantitis is meticulous oral hygiene, making sure you're always removing plaque deposits around the implants and regular monitoring of your implants every three to six months is also recommended.